This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 14, Project Interactive Card, Part 5. So this is what we created in the last uh, portion of this lesson, right? Part 4. Let's see what we're doing now. Adding sprites. Now you have more static elements on your card laid out. Yep. Now that you have. It's time to add the sprites. Woohoo! Your sprite should provide the primary animations and interactions for your card. So feel free to get creative here and have fun. Do this. Check out the sprites table on the back of your planning sheet for each sprite in your table. That paper that your teacher gave you, if you're my student, that I gave you. Uh, initialize the sprite at the top of your program with create sprite. Find or create images for your sprite and, and set it with set animation. Inside the draw loop, update the sprite properties that we will be constantly animating. We'll deal with conditionals, which is if statements, in a minute. All right, let me find some animations. So I'm doing a bit of a winter, oop, where to go? A bit of a winter scene. So animations. I'm, I was thinking of building a snowman, but I might pick out, hmm. Oh, can hippos love the winter? I mean, polar bears do, I know. <gasps> um, I'm using this dinosaur. Little do you know, the dinosaur loves winter. Who will his friend be? Oh, can the dinosaur have an elephant friend? Oh, this is tough. This is rough. Let's see. Ooh, what do we have here? Ooh, I want some rock ice. Yeah. Rock ice it is. All right, so... Initialize the sprite at the top of your program create sprite. Oh, we need our dino to have at least one friend. Mm. Yep, the dino has a best friend named Giraffe. Perfect. All right, so initialize the sprite at the top of your program with create sprite. Initialize just means like start it. So they already, we already have this variable sun size, which I set to a random number. Um, so we're going to initialize the sprite. So variables, V, A, nope, sprites, boom. We're going to create our sprite. I'm going to drop it right here, okay? And create sprite, and I get to set up what I want to call it. So I'm going to call that guy dino, and set animation to, well, dino, set animation to the T-Rex. Now I'm going to grab another variable for giraffe, and I don't know if you knew this, but the giraffe's name is Jeff, so that's what the <laughs> what the variable's going to be. Now I'm going to set the variable for Jeff to giraffe, giraffe the giraffe, Jeff the giraffe, and then we have one more sprite because I was getting fancy, and that one is our ice. Find and create images. We did that inside the draw loop update. They're all going to be on top of each other right now. Oh, not at all. So you almost, almost always want your draw sprites to be at the bottom because remember code runs in order. So unless draw sprites is at the bottom, something could be drawn over top of this sprite. So let's see what this looks like. Yep. So they're all stacked on each other. Woo boys. That's a lot, a lot of spritiness. Let me change up the scale real quick and move them around some. So we're going to do scale for Dino, scale for Jeff, and scale for Ice. Okay. Dino scale. Uh, remember, this is going to be in points because 1 is 100%. I'm going to set that to 0.5. This probably is still too big, but we'll check. 0.5. And then ice, I thought would be small, so 0 0.3 maybe. Um, I'm also going to move these around a bit. So our sprite is going to spawn not at 200x, but maybe let's have the tier, the dino 100 and 300, I guess. Where did we spawn the ground? Um, and then let's do 300x and 350. I don't know. We'll let the draft. Uh, 200 and 300. Let's try this. 
Oh, that's a bit better. Look how good friends they are. All right, um, I'm going to set the dino down one more, 0.4, and then I want that ice up a little bit and larger. So the ice is going to be point, uh, 0 0.6, and instead of 350, I'm going to set my ice at um, 250. Is that going to be right there at the top? It is perfect. Yep, I am liking that. All right, so, and remember to put it at the bottom of the jaw loop if you want them on top of stuff. So, uh, forward march. Uh, real quick, though, that was what I added. I added all of my sprite variables. Let's uh, keep going.